What's up everybody? So we are trapping a beaver lodge. I was here yesterday and asked permission or tried to ask permission. The gentleman was not home. Today he was home and I asked permission to trap some beaver here. He said, please, please, please trap these beaver. It is crazy the damage these beaver has done. So if I could show somebody like a reason to take beaver out of places, this would be why. Okay, these are maple trees right here. Maple, maple, maple. Look at the oak trees. See that oak tree? Oak tree. I think that's maple up there, but oak tree, 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 oak tree. And on that little thing right over there, there is like, you can see that those are all ironwood. And then over here too. Look at that oak tree, and then right there is a beaver lodge with two giant feed piles on it. There's definitely more than one beaver here. This is like the epitome of destruction, what these beaver can do. So the reason I'm going to start right here is I just want to show you guys something. Um, so the beaver lodge is there probably 100 yards, I'd say. and. I'm looking for bank dens, high bank over there. You would definitely think there's some bank dens there for sure, but there's also a high bank over here, you know? And most people would not think about looking for a beaver bank den over here. So I'm just gonna show, give you an idea of how I can find these bank dens, okay? See my chisel here? I'm along the shoreline, I'm just chopping. I'm looking for indentations, you know, on the bank maybe that might signify something. Um, trees, they like to build under trees, but like here's a right in right here is like kind of an indentation with some sticks on it. Looks like it could be a you know a good spot. So I'm walking here, nice and solid, nice and solid, nice and solid, nice and solid, nice and solid. Oh, look at that. See that? Then it starts getting quieter, like hollower, than right here. Look at that. Hear that? Boom. Right here, you guys, there is a super duper deep bank den going up under the shoreline right here. Bank den number one right here. Just want to show you guys how far away the beaver can live from the lodge. You know, this is most most likely, I mean, this is going to be a big beaver over here, I'd say. But, boom. One one run found. Let's uh, go over there and try and set up some more. Or find some more and set up some more. All right. So, so far, I haven't even checked the house out yet. Might have to grab more traps. It's freaking raining out like a mother. Got one, two, three bank dens right here. Nice shallow bank dens. Got a fourth one that we first looked at. Things deeper than crap under a tree. I don't know how we're gonna set it. Must be some runs on the lodge too that we're gonna set. But before I mess around the lodge, I wanna set these bank dens up in hopes that when I get near the lodge and disturb it, beaver are gonna come out into these bank dens. We're gonna make a catch before we leave. That's the plan. So let's see here, what do we got? Well, here's a big, here's a big tree. <laughs> This will be our safety right here. Wind is freaking howling, you guys. Straight howling. Insane how, how much the wind is going right now. So, water's kind of dingy and ugly looking. Stinky, even, uh, is the words I'm going to kind of use here. But, so what's going on here? We got a bank den. And I was going to set a trap right there. Because boom, there's a hard bank den going up there. And then I get my foot over to the right. And there's actually two bank dens here that come together. So rather than try to set two traps here, I came back to where it narrowed down. We're going to set one trap right in here. Okay, so I'm just going to find the side of the bank den here. It is pretty warm out today. Nothing's freezing. Well, besides the sleet. <laughs> but it's like 32 degrees out. Um, the roads are getting slick. Like, 
I should be checking more traps. I have, I have more traps that I should be checking right now, but instead, I couldn't pass this up, you know? You guys want to see trapping, and I'm giving you trapping. Every year, it's the same. I got to gotta pull out of the fishing deal for a while and get a bunch of trapping done. Oh, got a swivel stick here. Got a stake right here. Just feeling the sides of these of this run here. I want to get this trap. I can go like that. There's that rock. I don't want it right against the rock. I want it out just a little bit from it. Get that trap in the bottom right there. Got my swivel stick here. Pushing it, make sure it's down the bottom. Get that trap in place. Oh yeah. Back just a little bit. Get this swivel stick under this rock. That's it, right there you guys. Beaver trap number one is in. And like I said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it around this big freaking tree branch right here in the snow and just kind of throw it out there there we go trap number one is ready okay just set a bank den down there lodge there haven't messed it yet got a heck of a bank den here you guys this was actually open water dozens of peel six floating in there and just down from it, about 15 feet is a secondary bank den that's also like no ice over it. Oh, it is ugly outside, storming. This is where, like I said, this is where these windproof mics better pay off. <laughs> Go, oh yeah. Getting in the water here. I can feel that uh, Hopefully this is good. There we go. Feel this bank den actually, I mean, pretty crazy. It doesn't go up here, does it? No. No, it's right here. Right here. Yep. Yeah. This bank den comes out just like this right here. So. I'm actually gonna take, let's see here. I got one, two, a couple sticks here that I'm liking. Um, I'm actually gonna use one of these as kind of a blocking off stick. I'm just gonna put it in this side right here. Oh, yeah. There we go. Get all these sticks. There's some big beaver in here, you guys. Hopefully, hopefully. When we uh, check our traps tomorrow, we get some biggins. Or maybe today we'll get lucky and, like I said, get one. Who knows? Okay. Got a block and off stick there. Woo! She's a howling. You guys. Oh, okay. Got that right there. I'm going to put this down right about where I think it should go. Ooh, trap. <laughs> Shove that in the bottom right there. Then I'm using this guy here as a anchor so the BBs don't take this down in the ice the beebs now once again I'm gonna find this trap here there we go just get where, where I think it is to get that swivel stick in there I think that's money right there oh, swivel stick deployed should be a couple sticks Oh, there they are. Okay. Got one, two. Got two sticks right here. There's a nice deep run 
well it's actually not deep deep but deep enough right here Whew, it's a perfect run perfect run to put this trap in like this I would say Hands might get wet on this one. Hopefully not. Got a lot of stuff left to do yet today. Ugh. Gonna try to get both these springs to go straight up in the air for this set. That's how I want this trap to sit, is just like that down in this run. If it'll fit. Oh. Yeah, it's gonna fit. Whew. This will be interesting. One like that. Maybe let's go like that. Feel better about that. And then this little guy here is going to anchor it because beaver's not going anywhere with that. Whew, there we go. Three traps in. I think I'm going to go mess around the, the lodge a little bit now. Well, got one, two, three, four runs coming out of this house. Awesome, right? Not awesome. That main run right there is so weird, you guys. You get in the run. And there's no mud. It's all solid logs all the way around the hole. And it comes out at an angle. So I don't think I'm gonna set it. I'm gonna set that shallow one and this shallow one right here. And then I'm gonna try to set that banked in over there, I think. It's just a, it's a complicated situation, pretty much. If I had to call it anything, it's very complicated. I don't like the way it's all working out pretty much. So, oh, you guys, raining, sleeting, sleeting, raining. Big, deep, deep bank down under this tree here. And it's gonna be extremely hard to set just because of how it is down there. You guys, I don't, right now I'm totally, setting these springs with no idea how this trap's gonna go in this run. Ugh. I wonder, such a bad idea. I could try this, let's try this. Think it'll work? What if I used wire to hold this to the stick, but but I didn't, you know, I didn't tighten it so much that, that the trap wouldn't spring, you know? What if I'm like this and just did one, like, you know, half twist like that just to hold the trap in place, you know? I mean, obviously if a 330 is gonna fire, that's not going to stop it from firing. Just doing a half twist like that. You guys, what a horrible idea. I'm going to try it. Guys, if I catch a beaver in this, I'm gonna be pretty stoked because there's no way this should work. At, at any rate, this should work. So the other side of the trap should be right about there. It's a horrible idea. I'm gonna try it. Well, we are back. 
this pond where they chew down all the oaks and everything else. Possible. Been five sets here yesterday. There was no way that this set worked. Did it? There's no way that this set worked, you guys. I don't believe it. Oh, that's because it probably didn't. Did it? No, it, <laughs> it did not work. The beavers are definitely here chewing on that stick, chewing on these sticks though. Oh, how can I set this up? I'm gonna think about this one. All right. I actually reset that trap in a different way. Now tomorrow let's pray that uh, something good happens there, okay? Um, I don't know what's going on here. So, it's not good. Chunks of sticks. Nothing in my trap. And my swivel stick has been eaten off. Not what we like to see. Huh. Oh, you guys. This is not going anywhere like I had, had hoped it was going to. Um, this one here, I couldn't even tell you. on something couldn't even tell you what it is but there's something in here Ugh. now it's gonna find my where's my wire at there is a safety stick or wire here some GD place okay we're just gonna go in and get it that's what we're doing their foot let's go get it What do we got? Oh, got a small beaver. You guys, small beaver coming into this run. Today's definitely a day for small beaver. So far, anyway. little guy there we still got a trap over there so all's not lost Whew. one small beaver in that run anyway this one here I don't I don't even know what to tell you Steak? Feels like a, that was a steak. Steak with, holy crap. Look at the size of that one. Ho. Oh. oh, monster, you guys. Can't even get him out of the hole, he's so big. Oh, oh. <laughs> look at the size of that. Tree the beaver was dragging up in there. What was he thinking? 
Holy crap. Must have been awfully hungry or something. Wow. It's one spring. I was not, not expecting that when I pulled this trap up. 12 foot long, three inch popple tree in my kind of bear. That's just crazy. That can go over there. All right, well, got that trap reset. Had a giant freaking tree in it. Caught a small beaver in that one. That one was sprung, that one was sprung. We reset that one pretty good. I don't know, we'll be back tomorrow to check again, you guys. Okay. Back to check this pond out right here. Oh. Guys, it's snowing like crazy. I'm feeling good about this, you guys. I reset this trap yesterday in kind of a strange manner, you could call it. Oh, don't my axe with. Okay, well, there's some minnows out here I'm gonna try to grab out of the beaver lodge. But, put this trap in yesterday at a little different angle. Hey, we got, I think we got a beaver. I think we actually got a beaver. We do, look at that. You guys, we caught one in that run. <laughs> Not a real giant one, but we caught one. It worked. It's a miracle. I'm going to show you how I set this trap. It just, I got super lucky is all I'm really going to say because the angle I slid this 330 in was just perfect. Get this beaver out of here quick. Caught this guy coming in from the lodge. Decent sized beaver, not giant or nothing, but not a kit. Okay. Oh, I gotta make sure and get this trap tight though on this stick. That was part of the, uh, part of the key here. Uh, uh, there we go, okay. Oh my gosh. Well, I'm super happy we uh, connected right here because this pond is, is very difficult. I don't know what, you know, super dirty, nasty looking water. You can't see an inch down into. But, let's see if we can get this guy. There we go, okay. All right, so this run, I actually can get this stick, or this trap, down into this run. Oh, I'm gonna pull this out, that was my swivel stick. Um, yeah, that was the best part about it, right? There it is, right there. Trap goes under, slides right down directly into that beaver run. Okay. A few more traps here. Something doesn't quite look right here. Swivel stick, floating. beaver tail it's a good sign <laughs> oh it's a good sign we're getting some beaver oh oh I got him by the leg what the heck I'm trying to get this out of the... oh, what the... oh yeah I got a oh. Oh. I got this beaver by the back leg, you guys. 
little fella. Look at that, right by the back leg in this 330. Huh. Oh, if I can get him through so you can see, there you go. That back leg catch on this beaver, catching him the hard way, I guess. Oh, come on, get up here, get up here. Oh, what a pain in the butt this weather is. Oh. I'll take him any way I can get him. Like I said, I'll take him the hard way if I have to. There we go. Look at that guy. I don't, I mean, not a big beaver, once again, by any means. Ugh. Didn't even make it into that. Oh. Two beaver. That one's probably a, close to being a two-year-old right there. This one's almost as big, but not quite. So just three beaver out of here. This, you guys, beaver trapping has officially become, oh, it was a deer, look at that, right there. Big doe. No, is that a buck? Might be a spiker. Boom, boom, right there, boom. <coughs> Done. I think I'm going to come out one more time and pull these traps, you guys. This, <sighs> we got so much snow, it's just getting to be so much work. is horrible. We'll be back tomorrow regardless, or maybe day after tomorrow. Oh. Yeah. You guys are going to hear me huffing and puffing a lot. The snow is... Super deep, horrible is the word that I'm even gonna use here. Oh, this is bad, really bad. Oh, well, I'm guessing there's a beaver. No, maybe not. Maybe, I don't know. Feels like there's a beaver in here, but it doesn't feel that big. Or a muskrat or something. There's my, there's that stick there. There's definitely something in there. Oh, definitely something in this run. Cool part is we've turned it into a run that produces something. A little beaver. Well, a little beaver's better than no beaver. It's two checks in a row now. We've got a beaver in this run. Figured out how to make that set down there and make it work. Hopefully I get some big ones today on this pole. If not, I'll be coming back in the springtime, I think, to uh, exact my revenge. Beaver here, we'll just run through the snow a bit to dry him off. Okay, here we go. One small beaver in the first trap. He can go back there. Trap will go right here because we have six of these traps to pull. Hopefully, the next five are not empty. <laughs> All right. Oh. Trap here, we reset. Kind of different than the other ones. Oh, trap was messed up. I'll take that as a good sign. Anyway, what's going on? We got a guy. big beaver, I think. No, small beaver? Small beaver. What the heck's going on down there? There we go. Oh, small beaver. Oh. Small beaver. 
Oh, two for two on our traps now. This is just so bad right here, you guys. You, like, just look at this. I mean, that first day we were here, that was on top of the ice, and now, now it's frozen into the slush, you guys. Oh. Well, you guys, a little disappointed. Got that big lodge there, those two feed piles. And in the last five days, our trapping conditions have been absolutely destroyed. Like, like it is so bad here. The snow is so bad. That's where those two bank dens are at. You remember what those look like the day I set them? Maybe I'll try and get a clip in here that looks like all of this the day we set this now we got 17 inches of snow around here probably eight to ten inches of water in every single pond making it impossible like um this is pull day thankfully or else i don't even know what i'd do i mean it, it just is so bad i did manage to pull i think four beaver out of this place four or five like four didn't get any big ones but just because you put in the work doesn't mean you're always going to get a good reward, you know. We did get some beavers, some small ones. Um, I think we got a bigger one, but not a not a true blanket. But I think I'll have to come back in the spring. I'm going to set some footholds along that shoreline. That's my plan. Hopefully I make it back to you guys. But anyway, hope you enjoyed another beaver trapping episode. Please go follow me at 330 Maniac Outdoors on Facebook. 330 Maniac Fishing on Instagram. Go give that a follow and the Minnesota Trapper on Instagram, you guys. Thanks for watching. Peace. I was angry.